In this video, I'm going to attempt running the DeepSeq AI model locally on my Raspberry Pi. So let's get into it. Hi everyone. I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible. So we're going to use olama.com. I will leave a link in the description of this video to this website, as well as to their GitHub uh, repository. If we look at the GitHub repository, you can see here they have uh, an installation for Mac, for Windows, and for Linux. Since we want to do this on a Raspberry Pi, we're going to use this command for Linux because that's what the Raspberry Pi is. It's usually a Linux base. Uh, now, uh, also you can see here they have a Docker container. So maybe we can do this in the future on a Zima board or uh, like run a Docker container. Uh, let me know if you're interested. Let me know in the comments and I will make that video in the future. Now let's let's get back to this here. And this is the installation command that we're going to use. And then this is the quick start command to run the model. And if the model is not there, it will download the model first and then run it. So these are the two commands that we're interested in. The run the model and the installation. So let me also get back to their website real quick and show you this uh, models section. And the one we're going to try is the DeepSeq R1. My guess, this will be very slow. If I'm lucky, it will be very slow running on the Raspberry Pi or maybe will not even run at all. The Raspberry Pi I'm using, it's a Raspberry Pi 4. Maybe if I have a Raspberry Pi 5, I will do better. But there is a simpler version or there's a simpler model that we can use that I'm very confident it will run better on my Raspberry Pi. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started and pull up the Raspberry Pi. Now I've logged into my Raspberry Pi and opened a terminal window. Let me first use the installation command. So I'm gonna right click and paste that installation command and hit enter. I literally just copied that from their uh, GitHub and just copy paste and click enter. This will uh, do the installation for the Olama on my Raspberry Pi. By the way, this will uh, run the model when we're done after the installation and everything. It will run locally on the Raspberry Pi. Basically, even if you don't have internet, you can still run the model on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, you don't need the continuous connection to the internet for the model to run. Uh, now I'm going to let this uh, load for a second, and then I'm going to grab the DeepSeq uh, model name. And also there is another uh, model, which is very uh, light version model that I'm sure is going to run much better on this Raspberry Pi. I am uh, very skeptical. Uh, I'm not sure if the, Deep Seek, if the DeepSeq model will run on the Raspberry Pi 100%, but I'm going to attempt it anyway. Again, this is a Raspberry Pi 4. So if you have a Raspberry Pi 5, you probably have a better chance. Now the installation has completed. Let's go ahead and install that tiny model uh, that I told you about. So the command would be the Olama. Uh, let me click here, Olama run, and then the model name, which is tiny, um, Llama. So that should download the model first if you don't have it. If you already have it, it should automatically run that model immediately. So as you can see, this is a smaller, simpler version. And this model, I'm not sure how good this model is. Uh, I'm not guessing. I'm guessing it's not going to be good, but I, I'm, I'm sure it's going to run on the Raspberry Pi because of the limited resources. Uh, like I said, if you have a Raspberry Pi or more powerful machine, like a full Windows laptop or something, then I'm guessing you can run this much better. But let's try on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to start with this tiny one. And then after this tiny one, we're going to try the DeepSeq R1. Uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, this is almost there while this is uh, downloading. Um, if you uh, like this video, consider like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please uh, leave them below. Uh, I do usually read every single comment. So uh, yeah, this is downloaded almost done. And then after this, we're going to test it out. So when the download is complete, this automatically should run the model right away. So we should get like a success message. And then after that, we can communicate 
with the model from here um, from the terminal window. So you can see here, it's just doing a final verification. And then here's our success message. And now we can just communicate with the model. Uh, I'm just gonna ask it like, how can you help me with, or I'm not sure if that's a good question, but let's see what she respond, what, what the what the model will respond with. And uh, yeah, so you can see the model start to generate the text, which is uh, a respond, uh, answering according to help me help. If you have any request or need assistant, please contact us at, so I guess it's just uh, giving me the email address for, and the phone number for, okay, well, I mean, that might be helpful. Uh, let me also, okay, let me just interrupt this and then say, hello. Let's see what that respond uh, with. By the way, to interrupt, you can just do control C and, uh, Hmm, that is not English. So yeah, like I said, this model might not be good, but at least it's running as you can see. Uh, let me interrupt this again, and I'm going to uh, exit from here. And uh, to exit, you can do Control, Shift, and D. And now let me run the DeepSeek as I promised. So let's do uh, Olama uh, run, deep seek dash r1 my guess this one will take longer to download it's a bigger model and i'm not sure if it's going to fully run but we're gonna attempt it anyway so i'm gonna wait for this to download and run and then i come back and show you how it works that deep seek model took much longer to download but now we have it working so I'm going to ask it the same thing. Um, what can you help me with? Um, let's try that. And oops, I think, let me see, might have messed it up. Let's see, how uh, can you help me? Let's try this. This might be better. To interrupt, you can just do control C. I mentioned that earlier. Um, my guess, this model will work better as far as a response, like it will give me a better response, but it's probably going to be so much slower because it's a much larger and it's gonna be more resource consuming. So my Raspberry Pi can barely handle it. As you can see, it says think, which like it was thinking, and then now it's trying to reason in logic, but you can see the text is very slow. I have not uh, modified the speed of this portion of the, video, of the video. So right now, the speed you're seeing, it's the actual speed. Um, I'm not gonna modify this part. So you can see when I mentioned that this will barely run, or honestly, the fact that it's running, I think that's good enough. Uh, I did not even expect that but it's really, really slow. So you can see here, it's reasoning. It says, okay, I'm trying to figure out what the user is asking for. Uh, they wrote, what can you help me with? And then how can you help me? It seems like they are just starting a conversation. Um, maybe as a new user, so you can see it's really slow and it's reasoning, but at least it's responding in English. It can see the question. This model is definitely better than the tiny one. The tiny one is more of a proof of concept and not really a helpful model in my opinion. Now, um, again, maybe maybe I just did not use it right. I don't know, but the response I got from it was all over the place. While this one seems uh, definitely better in responding, but then my Raspberry Pi can barely handle it. So it's probably running the CPU and all the resources of the Raspberry Pi at the maximum level right now. And that's why it's really, really slow. So again, I am not gonna modify the speed of the video, at least not this portion of the video. So you can see how this is running very slow. Um, I'm gonna interrupt it now because I don't want this to be running forever and I don't want to make this video too long, 
but I'm going to interrupt it and I'm going to ask it one more thing. I'm going to do hello and let's see if this one respond any better or like say hi or something um, that would make more sense. Uh, but it's usually like it says think and then it says, all right. So, and then like, it's kind of reasoning again, you can try to uh, mess with different models. I'm going to, let's go back to the website and look at the other models they have. So, but then you get the idea. I just wanted to show you how you can install it, how you can run the model as simple as possible. You can do this on your windows as well as uh, on Mac and also on a Docker container, but I wanted to also try it on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to stop this here. I'm going to go back to the website just to just kind of scroll through the models they have and then some of the GitHub commands, and then we'll wrap it up. Back here to the website real quick. Uh, this is the DeepSeek model, and that was painfully slow on the Raspberry Pi, but I'm glad it worked. Let me show you this other model that is, so see the size of this. This is like 26.8. Uh, let me show you this other one that I found, which which we did uh, run, the tiny llama. It's only 1.3, so that's why this was much faster, or, or did it did run faster. But the response we got was a little bit uh, nonsense, or not as much, not as helpful as the DeepSeek model. But the DeepSeek requires more resources. So you can come here under this model section and see there are tons of them. So try different ones, see which one works best for you. Uh, if you have a better resources, like a better PC or a Raspberry Pi 5, you can probably try a better model in general. The last piece I want to show you before I wrap up this video is the GitHub repository, which I will link in the description, like I mentioned. If you scroll down, there are some other commands. Uh, these are the two commands we use, the installation command and the model run command. But if you scroll down, there are other commands like um, the one I want to show here is, let's say you want to pull a model, you want to remove a model, you want to copy a model. Uh, so there are some other commands here you can uh, try and play with and see how this works. So this is it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, please consider like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.